Electric airplanes are finally finding practical applications after many decades of research and development. When compared with normal jet engine airplanes, electric airplanes stand out in the field of quick response, less noise, better handling of crosswind situations, and the ability to produce differential thrust. Let's take a look at all the recent breakthroughs in the electric aviation field by understanding the technology behind Eviation Alice, which is the most advanced electric airplane so far. All the current electric aircrafts are propeller-driven. The propeller generates thrust because of the airfoil action. In an electric aircraft, this propeller is powered by an electric motor. All modern electric airplanes are powered by axial flux motors. We will learn why axial flux motors are used in electric planes, but before that, let's make an interesting comparison between a jet engine airplane and an electric airplane. Jet engines are not self-starting. To make it start, we need to rotate the main shaft of the engine through an air turbine starter. Then, according to the speed, fuel is burnt to speed up the propeller. On the other hand, electric motor-based airplanes do not require any assistance to start. Anyway, we have started prime movers of both the electric and jet engine planes. Now, let's try to increase the speed of them. In an electric motor, just increase the supply frequency and the speed will increase instantly. However, in a jet engine, when you increase the fuel flow rate, the speed increases only after a few seconds. In short, the jet engine has a very slow response for the fuel flow rate change. With this fundamental understanding in mind, let's go for a takeoff and see how this operation is different in electric airplanes. A great airplane speed is the most crucial thing to achieve a successful takeoff. In propeller airplanes, this high airplane speed is achieved by increasing the pitch of the blades. High pitch angle means higher thrust. But here is the issue. As we increase the pitch, the load on the blades also increases. In a jet engine-based airplane, this reaction torque will obviously reduce the speed of the propeller. As a result, such turbojet engines require a separate governing mechanism to keep the speed constant. On the other hand, the electric motor speed only depends upon the supply frequency. During high pitch operation time, they will automatically draw more power from the source to maintain a constant speed. A high blade pitch angle and high motor speed provide a great thrust force for the airplane. This makes the whole takeoff operation of an electric airplane much simpler. The motor you see in this visual is called the axial flux motor, and it is the preferred motor for electric aviation. The function of axial flux motors is similar to that of BLDC motors. By energizing separate windings at certain intervals, we can generate an attraction and repulsion force which will make the rotor rotate. Here, out of the three coils, two are always energized. This kind of wave pulse ensures that the net torque is always in the same direction and is also constant. When you compare this to a normal motor, you can see that a lot of flux lines are escaping without interacting with the rotor. However, in axial flux motors, most of the flux lines generated by the stator are linked to the rotor, delivering greater efficiency. You might have noticed that in all these animations, the motor is directly connected to the propeller without any transmission in between. Remember, turboprop airplanes need a transmission between the engine and propeller. This became possible because in axial flux motors, it is quite easy to increase the diameter of the rotor without increasing its weight. The greater the diameter of a rotor, the more torque it can produce. However, such a diameter increase is not possible in radial motors. They become so bulky and heavy during a diameter increase. Hence why axial flux motors are the ideal choice for electric aviation. Now, let's discuss the greatest advantage of electric airplanes, the ability to produce differential thrust.
The airplane produces differential thrust when one propeller spins faster than the other. The net torque produced can yaw the airplane. Such an operation is impossible in jet engine airplanes because it is more difficult to control the engine speed. This cool feature of differential thrust is quite useful in one particularly challenging flying situation, crosswinds during landing. The wind has a huge impact during landing because the airplane has a low speed or momentum in the situation. Normal jet engine planes handle this with the help of ailerons and a rudder. In electric airplanes, the differential thrust plays a major role in crosswind during landing situations. Electric planes can use both differential thrust and surface controls and stabilize the airplane more efficiently. Now, the only question that remains concerns the power supply for these motors. In Alice, the battery is distributed all over the fuselage area with a powerful battery management system. The task of the BMS is to ensure the optimal use of the energy present in the battery. The BMS protects the battery from overloading, overcharging, and under-discharging, as well as increasing the life of the battery cell. Low noise and low maintenance make electric airplanes ideal for short trips and courier services. DHL has already ordered a few electric airplanes from aviation for their courier services. In a few years, we'll probably be able to fly to a different country via electric planes. Thank you for watching the video.